I'm about to share with you some Google ad secrets which experts in this industry use to gain a massive competitive advantage over other e-commerce brand owners. Let's go over the first secret, which is average order value is everything. Google ads, the way it works is the higher the average order value, the more you're able to comfortably spend to get that as customers. And when you're fine spending just a little bit more and also the remaining profitable while doing that, now your Google ads campaign start to perform much, much better because now they're able to get more data to get your customer than they could previously. And with this increase in data, they will now be able to become much smarter at a faster pace as well. Some of the easiest ways to improve your average order value include things like offering a free gift with every order, but then adding the price of that free item onto the product price itself, or maybe just charging for shipping, or maybe offering express shipping for a more affordable price, or just improving your overall upsell and downsell game when somebody has already finished purchasing. All these things will help improve your average order value tremendously. Google ad secret number two, campaign strategy isn't as important as the foundational strategy foundation as in the things you do in the back end the product feed the product images the product titles and the seo techniques all those things which make your google ad scale even possible if your foundation is weak your campaigns will always fail because you will always end up trying to bid the highest or trying to start a prize war truth be told if you have a very strong unbreakable foundation even if you have a mediocre ad strategy, you will still scale much faster than somebody who has an amazing ad strategy, but a weak foundation. So Google ads secret number three, products generally don't become bestsellers in the first go. Now on my YouTube channel, I go over a lot of different strategies when it comes to Google ads, such as launching certain shopping campaigns or search campaigns or display discovery YouTube. But the reality is about 70 to 80% of the products in these campaigns, either they will never end up getting tested, or even if they are tested, they will not be bestsellers in the first try. And that is because there's just so many external external factors, which also determine if a product becomes a bestseller or not. Things such as the current market demand, where the economy is right now, is it in a recession or not? If it is the peak season, for your products or not. It doesn't make sense to hope and pray that that product starts to sell in that first campaign, in that first try that you just did. So instead, have a strategy where you kind of divert these products which were tested in the original campaigns, but they didn't either showcase any results at all or they were never even tested in the first place and divert them to another testing campaign that's designed specifically for these kinds of products. I like to call this campaign the catch-all campaign. I normally like to have two separate shopping campaigns for these kinds of products. In the first shopping campaign, I put all the products which did not spend a single dollar in the last 30 days. In the second shopping campaign, I put all those products which did spend money, but either I had to exclude them or they're just overspending and they're not profitable. And of course, you want to exclude these products from the original shopping campaigns. But this really kind of gives a second life, a second chance to these products. And hopefully this would be enough to get them going again. Google ad secret number four, custom landing pages can turn any small winning product into a massive, massive winning product. And I have the perfect example for this. Going on over to this ad account right here, we can see that overall, there's not a bunch of different shopping campaigns going on. In fact, there's really only one Pmax campaign and the rest are just search campaigns and then also some discovery campaigns, so on and so forth. But if we go inside this shopping campaign, if we go to the product section, there's actually only one product in here. The second one is just a Canada based product, but it's the same product which we're trying to sell and scale within Canada as well. Now, the interesting part, if we take a look at their overall conversion rates, you will see that their overall website conversion rates for this product, it's almost a 8%. That's right, an 8%. In fact, the cold traffic sh shopping campaign is almost a 9%. These are absolutely crazy results, but it's entirely possible when you implement custom landing pages versus just using what Shopify provides. The biggest secret to kind of scaling with Google ads is you need to have a decent conversion rate to make this kind of scale happen, even with a single given product. And the average order value for this store, it's not the greatest. I mean, if we open up our calculator, just 
look at some of the numbers so in the last kind of 14 days it did twenty eight thousand four hundred seventy six dollars and there were a total of 475 sales the average order value is only 59 dollars which with google ads it's not the best number however they're still able to scale profitably their break-even ROAS is around a 1.5x but they're able to scale at almost a 3.5x with our campaigns thanks majorly due to their high conversion rates and they are using a very beautifully designed custom landing page google ad secret number five you want to supercharging your pixel with audiences so many different e-commerce brands they just kind of launch campaigns and then they kind of forget about it maybe they'll do things in the back end they will add things such as proper seo techniques such as better images so on and so forth but the best way and one of the biggest secrets of google ads is to actually supercharge your ad accounts pixel the algorithm by providing it signals and that is exactly what we have done here we have multiple different asset groups running here the first asset group it's a no signal asset group basically there's no audience signals but just a bunch of different assets second one it's called the super signal asset group where it's a bunch of different assets as well as a bunch of different audience signals third asset group it's just feed only so no images and no audience signals so if we take a look at the overall listing groups we can see in terms of the overall results if we add the appropriate columns in that the super signal asset group right now it has the highest return on ad spend this is happening because we have provided it multiple different audience signals all related to the website itself so if we go back take a closer look at them we will see that there are some kinds of audiences in here such as all users of this website or people who have previously abandoned their carts things for example such as initiate checkouts all the top level things we have added here and also a lot more so you can maybe pause this video take a screenshot of all of this in fact i've made a video on these different audiences as well this is the way to supercharge your pixel because now your campaigns no longer have to just wander around trying to figure out who your perfect audience member is they can immediately go inside these audience signals use them on an observation basis is meaning observe them and understand who's inside each of these audiences to then go out and find more similar people to these these are the five different secrets which we are currently using for a lot of our e-commerce brands we're handling under my google ads agency your marketing which again if you're currently doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen